this video, you'll learn how to use Amplitude's Event Explorer feature to learn your organization's data taxonomy. Your data taxonomy is how the events and properties you're tracking are categorized and named. It's a language you'll have to know in order to be able to build analyses in Amplitude. Ideally, you'll have a process for being introduced to your taxonomy when you get access to Amplitude. For example, you might have a data onboarding session or a centralized document with more detailed information. If you're using the Amplitude data product, the tracking plan should serve as your organization's source of truth. But the reality is, it might not always be easy to pick up on when certain events get triggered based on how an event is named. If you don't have a good internal process to learn your taxonomy, you'll have to do a little bit of exploration on your own. Amplitude Event Explorer can help you learn your product's instrumentation as you interact with it. Let's say I was newly hired at an e-commerce company called Amplifit. I want to learn what events correspond to key actions that our users would take on our website. Here's the flow I'll go through. I'll start with the question I want to answer or the type of analysis I want to build. Then I'll identify myself in the product as a user of Amplifit. Next, I'll interact with the site in some meaningful way related to the analysis I'm doing. I'll then be able to view my individual event stream to see what events get triggered as I'm using the site. And finally, I can use that information to identify what events to include in my analysis. You can keep repeating the last three steps of this flow until you've identified which events get triggered for all of the important actions in your product. Here's what this looks like in Amplitude. Let's say I want to build a chart to look at Amplifit's path to conversion. To do that, I'll choose a funnel analysis chart. Now I know how users move through the Amplifit website, but I'm not entirely sure what events trigger when users click on certain things. Because Amplifit's data taxonomy is pretty clean and each event is consistently named and has a description, I can probably try to figure out what events to use to build my funnel just from looking at the events dropdown. But if your data taxonomy is messy or inconsistent, it might not be clear what events to use. I can use Event Explorer to figure out what events trigger when I, as a user, am interacting with my product. To do that, I can click here. Now what I need to do is to identify myself as a user tracked by Amplitude in my product. I can do this if I know what my user ID is or some other property value that would uniquely identify me when I'm logged in. If I'm not logged in, I'd need to know what my device ID or IP address is. It might not always be easy to figure out what your user ID is, so check with an engineer or data governor to figure out how your organization sets user IDs. Because Amplifit is a demo product, I happen to know that my user ID is just my email. But keep in mind that you should not set your user ID as something that might change or something that would qualify as PII, personally identifiable information. I'll put in my user ID and then hit apply. Once you do this, you'll begin to see your event stream populate in real time. At this point, if you have a web-based application, it might be a good idea to view your app and Amplitude side by side. I'll go back to Amplifit and click the Explore Classes button. In my event stream, you can see that this action triggered the Explore Classes event at the corresponding timestamp. When an event is selected in the event stream, you can see its corresponding property values on the right. So the event property plan has the value premium. Now I'll go back to Amplifit and filter for yoga classes and beginner difficulty. Switching back to Amplitude, I can see that those clicks first triggered the select category event and then filter event. Clicking on select category, I can see that the event has an event property called category, which has the value yoga. This corresponds to me clicking on the yoga category in Amplifit. The filter event has a property called difficulty with the string value of beginner. 
This corresponds to me filtering classes by beginner level difficulty. Let's go back to Amplifit and complete a purchase. In Amplitude, I can see that this triggers the Select Class and Start Class events. Each of these events have a number of associated event properties as well, such as the name of the coach and the class duration time. Now, to start my analysis, I can directly add the events I care about from my event stream to the chart builder. I'll start with the Explore Classes event. I can specify using an event property value in my analysis by selecting it on the right, and then I can add that to the chart. In the chart builder, you can see that the first step of my funnel is Explore Classes, where the event property plan has the value of premium. I'll now add the rest of the events in my funnel. Once I'm done, I can see that my funnel has populated below. Using Event Explorer, I was able to do my analysis in Amplitude and teach myself a little bit about Amplifit's data taxonomy. Let's go back to when we were talking about identifying ourselves in our application. As I mentioned before, you'll most likely have to check with someone at your organization to figure out how you track user IDs. However, if you're using Amplitude's JavaScript SDK to track events for a web-based application or site, you can use the Event Explorer Chrome extension to find out what your user ID is. To do this, first make sure you're logged into Amplitude and your application, and then install the Chrome extension by clicking on this link. Then navigate back to your application or site. Click on the extension and make sure you're in the right Amplitude project. This extension shows you exactly what the in-product Event Explorer shows you, with your event stream on the left and the details for each event on the right. If you don't immediately have an analysis you want to run and just want to get a sense of the events that are triggering on your site, it might be more convenient to just use the Chrome extension instead of opening up Amplitude in another window. If you do have an analysis you want to run, you can simply copy your user ID and then click Open in Amplitude to open up Event Explorer in the product. Once you identify yourself as a user with the user ID you copied, you'll be ready to start your analysis.